Hi everyone, my name is Deanna and welcome to my channel about stories that happen in life. Sit back, pour yourself a hot drink. I think this is going to be very interesting. Well, before we start, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a lot of new and useful videos. Anton and Olesia met at a party where the girls set a fancy table. The guy especially liked the juicy, tasty cutlets prepared by Olesia, and he jokingly announced, You can marry such a girl only because of cutlets. All their friends and girlfriends knew that Olesia is an excellent cook. Even her father noted, her daughter cooks better than her mother. The next day, Anton came to the girl with a huge bouquet. But today there are no cutlets, smiled the girl, and the guys laughed merrily. The couple began to meet. Alicia treated the guy with incredible culinary masterpieces. And when they went to meet the groom's parents, the bride baked an amazingly delicious and delicate yogurt cake decorated with strawberries and kiwi pieces. Michael Petrovich, Anton's father, tasted the first piece of cake and clenched his eyes with pleasure. This is something unearthly. And the future mother-in-law, Galina Sergeyevna, examined a piece of cake for an hour, indifferently picking it with a fork. Anton asked, Mommy, very tasty, why do not eat? I'm watching my figure, you know I'm on a diet. Meko Petrovich happily ate another piece of the magnificent cake and said to his wife, Any diet can be broken, especially when such a wonderful bride is brought into the house. But Galina Sergevna defiantly pushed the plate away and reached for the fruit. I will not violate anything. An apple will be enough for dinner. We'll get more. Mikhail Petrovich waved his hands. At the next appointments, Galina Sergevna ate baked goods and caloric dishes with pleasure. Alicia was surprised but decided that Anton's mom's diet was probably over. After the wedding, the young settled with the parents of the groom. Galina Sergeyevna immediately said, The kitchen is on you, Olesia, you will cook. The next morning, the girl enthusiastically invented breakfast. She prepared hot, crispy sandwiches with ham and cheese, decorated them with herbs, and brewed delicious coffee. The men ate their breakfast with pleasure, and it rattled behind their ears. When they left, Olesia and Galina Sergeyevna were left alone. Olesia, Everyone knows that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, I'm also familiar with this truism. What's the matter? The girl asked. Why do you feed everyone fried calories? Do not you know that in the morning the best dish is porridge? Breakfast should be balanced and healthy, and sandwiches are a slow death. The girl decided to keep silent and not to argue with her mother-in-law. Although she did not see any danger in sandwiches, Many people have breakfast this way, and everyone is alive. All right, porridge is porridge. And what to make for lunch? Olesia asked. I won't be here. I'm meeting a friend in a cafe. And for the evening, make borscht. I hope you can cope. Sneered her mother-in-law. I'll try. Olesia answered modestly. By evening, the girl cooked real borscht according to all the rules of culinary art. Men from the threshold smelled the intoxicating aroma. The girl, smiling, poured tasty rich soup onto plates, trying to pour her husband and father-in-law with a handful. Mikhail Petrovich impatiently took a spoon, but froze when he heard the indignant voice of his wife. Well, and where is the flavor of garlic? What kind of borscht is this? And what is this? What is this? Questioned Galina Sergevna pointing her finger at the bread basket. Olesia sinfully thought that her mother-in-law had gone crazy. This, it's bread, but if you're on a diet, you can eat without bread. What's the matter? Mikhail Petrovich raised his voice. Are we going to eat or not? I'm hungry too. Galina Sergevna parried. But where are the pampushki with garlic? But you didn't ask for any pampushki. Alicia was surprised. You could have told me, and I would have baked them. It's a truism. Do you need to explain that borscht is served with garlic pampushki? You should know it yourself. Only marginalized people eat borscht with ordinary bread. After these words, the mother-in-law got up, defiantly bowed at Alyssa's waist, and proudly left. 
The girl flapped her eyes, almost crying. She tried so hard to prepare a delicious dinner. Not everywhere and not everyone eats borscht with pampushki with garlic. Why does the mother-in-law think that this is the dinner of plebs? Olesia tried to cope with emotions. The girl's lips were trembling and she did not want to finally spoil the evening. So she said that she was not hungry and went to her room. Soon Anton came in, hugged his wife and said that the borscht was surprisingly tasty even without pampushki. He kissed Olesia and stroked her hair affectionately. You are sucking up, smiled the girl. Of course, because when you smile, the sun rises. The girl finally thawed and asked, When the sun rises, you like to eat porridge. Tell me, what kind should I make for you? Better make an omelette or sandwiches. It tastes better to me. Olesia was surprised. The mother-in-law started some kind of intrigue. Do not give in to these tricks. If she wants porridge, let her cook it herself. In the morning, the omelette and bread were browning fragrantly on the griddle. The smell of coffee was wafting through the kitchen, and a salad with greens was on the table. Her mother-in-law was picking at the omelette with a fork like an investigator, looking for poison. Olisa thought, if she wants to eat, she eats. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't eat. I'm not going to let her do what she wants. Let her say whatever she wants. And indeed, when the men left, it began. How could you think of such a thing? To spoil a lot of eggs with overcooked caloric bread? Where did they teach you that? Galina Sergeyevna was indignant. But you could not eat this breakfast, objected the girl. Don't you have to ask for permission in your own house? The mother-in-law lost her temper. I don't mind, eat what you want, she said and went to her room. Daughter-in-law did not understand why the mother-in-law clung to her. No constructive criticism, and what she needs, is unclear. Alicia called a friend and complained about the difficulties of family life. You cook magically, everyone knows about it, and the first witness is your husband. Anna persuaded her, probably her mother-in-law is jealous and jealous. How can it be, her precious son is now being fed by other hands? but she put me in charge of the kitchen. On purpose, to show that you're inept. Now you either get a divorce or move into a rented apartment. You say that too, divorce, over food. I'm just kidding, you have a psychology degree. Look for a job and gain independence. Teased her friend. I can't find a job in my specialty, Elise replied. Higher education is there, look for another place, and then the specialty gradually settles down, advised Anna. You start working, there will be no time to cook, we'll have to mother-in-law borscht and porridge cook. A week later, Alicia told me at dinner that she had found a job. You're my smart girl, rejoiced her husband, eating delicious rasolnik. Well done, supported daughter-in-law Michael Petrovic, Galkonok, and what do you think? And who will cook? Galina Sergeyevna answered a question with a question. You do not like my cooking, and then I need to develop seniority. Mom, you always cooked before, Anton reminded her. Elisa is not a servant, but our son's wife, Mikhail Petrovich said reasonably. Oh, now you're making me a servant. Galina Sergeyevna was indignant. After long arguments, it was decided that the free one would cook. Olizia's mother, Alina Sergevna, advised her daughter to go to a rented apartment. In her opinion, it was not about cooking. If you want to keep the family, you need to separate. Anton, remember you and I once planned to rent an apartment. Let's go to a rented apartment. I'm working now. There's enough money. Alicia started a difficult conversation with her husband. Let's wait. What's the hurry in case something doesn't work out? I don't want to wait any longer. It's better to leave before Galina Sergeyevna kills me. Why are you dragging my mother into this? She has nothing to do with it. But all the time there are scandals over cooking. At least remember the borshit. Don't make a big deal out of it. Because of one incident, you start. Olizia couldn't take it anymore. Everything she was holding in her heart came out. No, not just once. You leave and the headache begins. Not so cooked, not so put, fried bread protein spoiled. The morning men won sandwich feed, 
Do not want to cook porridge. Traditions were broken. I can't take it anymore. What traditions? What porridge? Let's go. Anton resolutely pulled Olzia by the hand. Galina Sergeyevna was peacefully watching TV in the hall. Mom, what is this legend about porridge? Porridge? The elderly woman understood everything and feverishly thought of variants of the answer. Olesia thought wistfully that her mother-in-law would consider her a snitch. Galina Sergeyevna looked into her son's eyes, which were throwing lightning, and decided that she would not shirk. Yes, the son has become quite mature and protects Olesia like a real man. My children, I think there is a misunderstanding between us, but the incident can be forgotten. What was is gone, and whoever remembers the old, to him an eye out. The problem isn't worth an egg, exclaimed Olesia. All right, let's forget. Anton supported, but you mom, stop humiliating Olesia. Be friendlier with her. Okay, guys, forgive me. Galina Sergeyevna apologized. Maybe you should have gone easy on your mom. Olesia asked her husband in the bedroom. But the young man replied that he would not give his wife an offense to anyone, not even his mother. Soon celebrated the anniversary of Mikhail Petrovich. My mother-in-law and daughter-in-law cooked their specialties for half a day. The guests were shocked by the exquisite menu, asking for the recipes of delicious dishes. Turkey chops with pineapple, puffed salad, cake as a work of art. All this splendor made a real sensation. And all these dishes appeared thanks to Olzia's skillful hands. We should have such a daughter-in-law, the guests chattered. And Galina Sergevna and Elena Sergevna were glowing with pride. Forgive me, Olesia. I was jealous, stupid. You are a great cook, admitted finally mother-in-law. Give recipes? Absolutely, but we will go to each other to visit. Olesia smiled. As a sign of reconciliation, the girl whispered to her, I have a surprise. My mom already knows, and Anton wanted to please you on his birthday. In seven months, you will become a grandmother. What a joy, Galina exclaimed, tears welling up in her eyes. We'll make a present for you on your birthday. Will there be a birthday cake? Of course, mom, her daughter-in-law winked at her.